Hello everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers. Yes, I'm wearing overalls today, I've got my hat on. It's a nice day outside, you're probably thinking, what the hell are you wearing that lot for? Well, as you can see, we're in Hetty, the horse box today. So we're gonna be cutting out some metal and we're gonna be putting some new metal back in. Reason being because an actual structural part of uh, the back door has rusted away caused an issue which you can see has been caused before and I'll show you exactly how and why. We're gonna replace that and put new metal in so when the door goes up and down there's no problems, no further issues and no worry about it breaking off. Let me show you. Right, so on this side of the truck, there's the spring just over here. Now that takes the weight of the door when you drop the door down. Now that is attached to an L, L bracket or a T bracket just there, which is supported by this piece of metal here. And again, reinforced with this piece here. Now over the other side, it's a completely different story. So there's your spring. There's the bracket. You see all these washers? They have been put on to compensate the bracket rusting away and pushing back and through here at the back here so it's in a pretty poor condition let me show you from the other side and you can see for yourself how much that is bent and rusted so i need to fabricate and replace that piece there but before we do that we've got to actually take the old bit out hence why i've got the hat on the overalls on i'll be putting gloves on and we'll be grinding that lot out after taking the bolt out of the spring. So there's only one li thing left to do, and that's actually get on with the job. Trust me, I've dropped the bolt on the floor. So now the spring's off, you can see how much that has bent back. Let's cut it off. So there you go. That's the old metal taken out. I've just got to grind 
where I've cut it off flat, once that's ground flat, we need to get some new metal and put that in place. So taking that out was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Because of the tight little space it was in, I was thinking I was gonna cut a little bit here, a little bit there. As you see, I did do a little bit of that. But I'm quite happy actually. That definitely came out so much easier than I thought it would. So all I'm gonna do now is grind down the patches that where the metal's been cut off from. Prep them, get them ready for the new metal to go in. Right, what I need to do on the old piece of metal, I'm gonna cut this off of here and reuse this. I could fabricate another one. Um, I might even do it yet, but to be honest with you, I think it's just as easy to cut that off and um, weld it back onto the new piece when it arrives. Anyway, I'm gonna grind down those bits. I'll give you a little bit of slow-mo footage on that as well. Somebody messaged me they liked the slow-mo footage of the grinding. I don't know why, but it's good. Um, so I'll grind them down and I will prep the areas like I've already said. Sorry to repeat myself. Right, so welcome back. We now have a new piece of metal. I know it's pretty dark in here, and I am apologizing because it is dark, and I know you can hardly see me, but well, that's what it looks like on the camera. We need, now need to weld this where the old piece come off. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you where it's gonna go, and I've got two of these right angle magnets to hold it in place while we tack it and get it where we need it. Let me take you down there and show you what I mean. Right, so there it is in place. I've put one of these either side. And I've also poked a um, wrench in the back end of it because it's going to drop. 
So what I need to do is now put a little tack over this side, on each side, at the top here, just to hold it in place. And then we can remove the magnets, make sure I'm happy with the positioning of it, and fully weld it in place. Idea. So it's nicely welded, nice thick weld because obviously this is going to support a, a, quite a strong spring. Now I need to go around the other side and do the other side. You don't need to watch me welding. So I'll get that done. Then we put the T piece on that holds the magnet in place. No, sorry. Then we put the T-piece on that holds the spring in place and we put the support bar behind it. But I need to cut that down first. I'll be back shortly. Right, so there it is, all in, all in place. And all I've got to do now is spray it with some red oxide, stop it rusting. So that's it, the spring mounting is now in place. I'm happy with it. All I've got to do is let that cool down and then give it a spray with some red oxide paint. Hi again. I've actually done another piece of metal in the horse box. Um, I didn't film it because it became a little bit difficult with trying to film, weld, film, weld, film, weld type thing uh, to cut the metal. So I'm going to show you what piece of metal I've actually replaced in here as well and I'll explain why. Right, so just outside here are the steps. And as that used to close in, I don't know if you can see that very well, it used to snag on this bolt here. And that's because this piece of metal here was replaced, but cut down and replaced, and it allowed this panel to flex inwards. So that's now been replaced and welded in, and it's been red oxide coated so I'll stand up and give you a shot going downwards so you can see the gravity of what I've actually had to do right so that's the bar you can see I've replaced and it supports where the steps are located just outside and they fold inwards and that little reservoir there was where the steps were snagging on and they wouldn't open and shut properly so now they open nicely and there's no issues with it at all Right, so let me show you it being closed. And it used to snag just about as it went past there, but now it clears, it clears it. Lovely. And when you open it back up again, you can see the clearance. But that used to snag that, and it was terrible to try and open and shut it all the time. So that's another job done on Hetty the horse box. So that's two jobs on Hetty that I've managed to complete. So now what we can do, we can do more rust treatment on the box chassis and we can get that under seal treated, rust proofed, ready for the new boards to go up or down on the floor. Now, the reason we're gonna do that for a little while is because we need to use the box in here as a little bit of a storeroom for parts and items that we get coming in as we take in stock because the workshop's becoming a little bit of a nightmare and a little bit of a mess. So we needed to sort something out and this is just like a little storeroom 
for the time being before we start the conversion. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed what, what I've done. I know it's not a lot. So leave your comments below, let me know what you think. And um, if you wanna see more of the build on this horse box, I can get bits and pieces of it done. If you wanna see that, let me know also in the comments below. So yes, things are slowly progressing in the workshop. I hope you're having a nice day. Hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, and most of all, staying happy. Bye for now.